How's it going everyone? It is Logan Anderson here, the owner of All Strong Fitness, back with another video for you today. What we are going to talk about is balance. Now, balance is something that affects a lot of individuals with special needs and specifically seniors. Seniors are often worried about their balance, how they can improve their balance, and overall, uh, they just want to reduce the risk of falling in general. So when it comes to balance, there's actually a lot of different facets that goes into balance. And one of the questions I commonly get asked is, why do seniors or older individuals struggle with their balance? Now, you could get a lot of different reasons, uh, potentially a loss of eyesight as you age, um, muscle mass going down slowly um, will also kind of perturb your balance a little bit. But what I think is the most important aspect of balance is simply not practicing. Now, balance is one of those skill-related aspects of fitness where you need to be consistently practicing it every single day to some degree. If you are super good at shooting free throws, you probably notice that, hmm, the more I shoot free throws, the better I am at that skill. It goes no difference for balancing and walking around in your daily life. So if you are a senior or working with an individual with special needs who might have balance issues, first take a look at their overall physical activity pattern. Are they commonly just sitting in their chair all day, not getting up and doing general activities of daily living? If so, this would be the first case. And what I would try to do is to just get them more physically active. Getting them up and moving in general will help them to practice balance by simply walking around. This is one of the really common things because as individuals age and get older, they often don't have as much formal responsibilities throughout their day-to-day -day lives. So they fill this with simply watching the news, sitting and doing crosswords, and just spending a lot of time being overall sedentary. Unfortunately, being sedentary does not give you the time and opportunity to practice the skills needed to balance properly. So the first step and the easiest low hanging fruit when trying to improve or maintain your balance is to just keep doing as much as you physically possibly can. If you are an older adult and you've started to notice that your balance is slipping, this shouldn't uh, make you fearful of walking. This shouldn't make you fearful of moving. It should encourage you to keep up with things. Otherwise, it might get worse. And a lot of us, you know, we want to live the most fulfilling and independent lives as possible. So hopefully you enjoyed that little video and a little bit of talk about balance. Make sure to share this with others if they might need to hear this and give a little insight to them about how they can improve their balance if they're older. Or if you are somebody who works with a lot of older individuals or people with balance issues take this to practice with them note their physical activity habits and see where it goes from there i really appreciate you checking out this week's video and we'll make sure to catch you in next one